Hello and welcome to my channel. In this episode we're going to be repairing a Nissan Qashqai bootlet handle. Apparently it's a very very common problem. Handle has about six plastic inserts for the bolts which do snap over time and the handle breaks. To tackle this problem nowadays you can get a repair kit. You can buy it from internet. I personally bought it from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for you below. All it is, it's like a new retaining clips, new more rigid, more thicker plastic retaining inserts for the bolts and it has a bottle of powerful solvent called acetone it's just for bonding two parts together what you do just apply it to your boot lid handle and then apply it to your plastic repair part and then just bond two parts together so first thing first we're gonna have to remove our boot lid handle Just uh, start from removing all the electrical connections like a, a number plate bulbs. In my case I have a boot lid uh, opening button and a central locking button as well. To remove a number plate bulb, just twist them and pull them out. This is my central locking button, just uh, be careful taking it out, don't snap any of the plastic. And all we left to remove it's a boot lid uh, operating button. Again, just take your time and try not to snap any of the plastic because we don't have a repair kit for this. And to disconnect it from main electrical harness, just uh, press down on this uh, gray leader and then just pull it out. Over time plastic becomes very brittle and um, them clips we do snap very very easily. We just You can literally break one of your fingers now. Now when it comes to fitting a repair kit, you can't really go wrong here, it's just designed to go into the exact spot. Just as I said, this plastic is very very brittle by now, so you can literally break it with your fingers.
what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to create a nice smooth surface for repair kit to go in. As you can see here a big piece is still intact but it still has to go in order for repair kit to fit in properly. Just a test fit and a repair kit here. It fits pretty good, it, it's a very snug fit. As I said before, it's designed to go into the exact spot and it has like a little notch in the repair kit, so it's supposed to be resting against your boot lid handle. Yeah, this notch I'm talking about, this notch is supposed to be resting against this angle here, so it will fit exactly into the right spot. I've just used the long nose pliers to break the rest of the plastic off. And once you broke it all off, it's uh, time to smooth it out with a sandpaper. I've used a uh, 120 grit sandpaper. Just uh, keep sanding it until you'll get a very nice uh, smooth surface. And once it's all sanded down, it's time to give it a good clean. I've just used a bit of a brake cleaner here and a clean rack. Just a test fitting the repair kit again, just making sure it's gonna go in perfectly. And once you're happy it's a good fit, it's time to use your acetone which was supplied in your repair kit. Just pour it into some sort of a jar or even a bag, like a plastic bag and uh, use a brush to brush it on a plastic panel. And just uh, using a brush, simply brush it on onto your boot lid handle and uh, on your repair plastic kit as well. So you really have to work it in. So the idea is plastic will start melting and it will bond two parts together. Just make sure you're gonna put a good amount on both parts before you bond them together. 
I'm doing it outside but if you are doing it inside so make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated area because it just smells horrible and it's very toxic as well Plastic will start to melt always immediately and then just simply bond two parts together and use your clamps to hold it in place. Just be careful not to spill any of the acetone on your paint for because it will damage it. And as I said, just uh, use your clamps to clamp it together to apply a little bit of pressure. Maybe it's a good idea to go all around the edges with acetone again. I think it's a little bit easier to do with a smaller brush. So from another side it's uh, an exactly same procedure, just uh, use your acetone and a brush and then brush it on and uh, bond two parts together. And uh, then again use your clamps to hold it in place. And uh, you're supposed to leave it to cure for about an hour or two, but it was getting late and I just uh, left it to cure overnight. And uh, now we're moving on to the next stage. Uh, you see these four bolts? This is where we're gonna fit our bootlet handle.
it designed uh, to work with a uh, six bolts but our repair kit only using four but it's uh, more than enough it still works very very well So you get five bolts which are holding your bootlet handle and then this one plastic grommet which is doing absolutely nothing so we'll be getting rid of it. So we will be getting rid of it and uh, replacing it with a bolt which will be holding our repair kit in place. And then instead of this plastic grommet we are going to be using a stainless steel bolt with a rubber washer just to keep the rainwater away. Now you can't really see it here but it's a Phillips screw in there which you have to take out before you unclip all this uh, plastic boot cover. And once you took that screw out, you just simply give it a good pull and then the whole panel just pops off. And um, it has about like um, 13 uh, clips which are uh, holding it in place. So one side will be held in here and the other side will be held in here. So as I said before, we're going to be replacing this plastic grommet with this bolt. We're taking off this and that. And uh, now you just need to get to the nuts from the other side it just uh, takes a 10 millimeter socket a 10 millimeter deep socket And once you're undone the nut, just uh, pull the bolt out. I was just struggling to get that uh, plastic grommet out, but a little bit of force and then it just pops out. So this is a close up of this plastic grommet which is going straight into the bin.
and uh, as I said uh, here just the next day I replaced that uh, plastic grommet with a stainless steel bolt and a rubber washer and uh, here's our boot lid handle just um, all cured and ready to be fitted Yeah, just a test fit in it here. It uh, seems to be like a perfectly flush fit. And uh, obviously before we can fit our boot lid handle we have to reattach all the electrical connections. Just a test fitting it in here, just making sure no wires will be sticking out. And uh, start simply by sliding the bolts into these uh, notches. As I said before, it will be held in place with uh, four bolts in total. And now very important to reattach the neoprene washers. It's, it's kind of a neoprene washers. Ideally, you would want to use a brand new washers, but I didn't have them, so I've just used an old ones. It's just uh, keeping your rainwater away and 
and then uh, simply just uh, offer it to panel. And uh, once you're happy, no wires is uh, sticking out, just uh, use a four nut and uh, tighten it from the other side. Just don't go too crazy on it, just by the end of the day, it's only plastic you tighten it against.
and uh, this is how it looks like it's a finished product now as I said before it uh, held in place with uh, four bolts and four nuts here and here and we're missing two in the middle so it's it's a, it's it's a little bit proud but it's okay like you you don't really notice it so and it works very well as well so like for 25 quid it just it's worth every single penny It feels rock solid, so I would uh, definitely recommend this repair kit. And the last thing we left to do is just put our plastic uh, boot cover back on. Uh, it just simply clicks on and then it's uh, one Phillips screw you have to do as well. Now guys, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. If you found it helpful, please give us a like and uh, drop us a comment and uh, subscribe for more. And um, I'll catch you at the next one. Cheers.